So how can we use these tools to improve performance? <coughs> we use these things to help better understand personnel performance, profitability, asset management, and cost control. And so understanding the impact of speed, um, having good SOPs so you can improve your efficiency and time in the saddle. Little things like this K-State model has a cost of tendering the equipment. So you've got a sprayer operator, but what about that guy sitting in the truck with the water truck? How much does that cost? Or you're fertilizing and you have somebody sitting out there with a the bottle supporting that guy driving the field. He's reading the book for hour after hour. It's almost 25% of your cost. So when we're competing with a commercial operator and we bring our supply unit out in the field and it sits there and the driver runs equipment and there is no tendering person there, it's huge. But if the sprayer is gone and they need maximum efficiency, it's a really good investment to have a full-time person in that tendering unit. Because you look at how much more acreage gets done in a day because the products are mixed, he pulls in, fills up. If you want to see efficiency, how many of you have watched helicopters? Spot, block. When they drop in 30 seconds with three inch, three inch hose, they fill the tank back up and they're off. There is virtually no downtime until silicon. So these are guys that have mastered the activity-based costing things we're talking about. 